Hello Channel Need viewers, I am DS, your psychologist and welcome to another episode on Channel Need. So as an ENTJ assertive, my dominant functions are actually very stable functions. I allocate a lot of my resources to TE and NI. So as a result, I am weak in my SE and FI. But every MBTI type will actually improve as they mature. So that goes with me as well. I realized that even though I do not have a preference for SE, along the way, as I become older and more experienced, I actually am better at using SE. And I would say that this is a subconscious process. I did not deliberately allocate more resources to SE. It's just that now I realize that SE is becoming more salient. Now in what ways? There are two ways. First, I used to hold a lot when I was younger. So let's say when I buy cartridge, I will buy two instead of one. This is because I'm really afraid that I'll run out of ink. So TE has this inclination to buy more than you actually need because you need a backup plan. However, as time goes by, I realized that backup plans don't really work. So after I have changed my laptop, now I seldom print, but I have unused cartridges. I think it's a waste of money. Sometimes food also have expiry date and I have a lot of food that I buy that I no longer eat. And that goes with cosmetic products as well. So recently, I have been finding myself using things more liberally. Long ago, as a Chinese man, I always have this mentality that when you buy new clothes, you should only wear them on big events such as Chinese New Year. Now, I don't care. The moment I buy, the next day I wear. This is definitely an SE trait. So my mentality is, if you don't wear now, then wait for what? Till you die? Who knows what will happen tomorrow, right? So yes, in this regard, I am realizing that I am more SE inclined nowadays. And I attribute it to age and experience. Another trait that I find myself having less of is that of secrecy. So when I was younger, I tend to be very secretive and private. I think this is a TE and NI trait. So when I was in my secondary school days, there was one day whereby the teachers asked us to go back for a Chinese essay writing competition. And it's very unusual for me to want to go back to school on a Saturday. So my parents asked me why. I just say, oh, because there is a CCA, there's an extracurricular activity. I did not tell them what the purpose was. So generally, I do not know why I don't want to tell them such things. Is it because I'm afraid of losing? That's why I don't tell? Or is it because I am really inherently very secretive? Actually, even after winning the competition, I did not really want to tell them anything. That goes with a lot of other prizes that I've won. Like I've dealt into a radio station, you know, those where you can win money, right? So I've dealt in and I actually won 4,000 odd dollars. Lucky caller, right? After winning the amount, I don't tell anybody at all. Also, until my parents found out from a congratulating letter, then they questioned me why I didn't tell them. So in the past, definitely, I am much more secretive than I used to be now. I'm not too sure whether it's because I am now a social media influencer, so I am more willing to share about myself, or is there really a radical change that may have caused me to be less of a secretive person? But if I were to do YouTube about 10 years ago, I think it is very unlikely that I would want to tell any of my friends about this. Like, I really believe that I will become successful, so I will just keep this information to myself. But now, I think I am more willing to forecast my own success. Like for example, I am doing this mental pop series, right? I personally really think that it will be successful even before it's taking off. So, and I am very willing to express it recently. I think during this one or two years, I think this is growth, right? Anyway, I'm really very curious about fellow ENTJs. Are you secretive actually? Or are you not? Because when I look back into my life, I think that I am really a very secretive person and I wonder whether this is an ENTJ trait. So do share with me in the comment section. So okay, at Channel Need we produce a lot of ENTJ related videos. If you have enjoyed this video, do give us a like. If you have not subscribed, do consider subscribing so that we can bring you more ENTJ, MBTI and fun stuff. 
Okay, I'm going to sign off now and I'll see you in our next episode. Bye bye!